So when it comes to people using their companions, they have basically a ton of options. You have robotics like the Death Cube or Dairiga. You have Moas or Hounds. You have beasts like the Haras or Roxa Kubra. You have the Smita or the Adarza Kavat. And you also have the Infested Companions like the Panzer Bulbophila, the Pharaoh or Vizier Predacites. But before I acquired my most recent Hound, I used to love using my Panzer Bulbophila for almost every mission or my Smita Kavat if I was farming. But now that I got this hound, it's really hard to return to my Panzer Bulbophila. But why is that? So you're probably wondering, why is that? Why do I not feel like I should return to my uh, Panzer Bulbophila when I'm using my hound? Well, that is for a variety of reasons that I will show now. When it comes to using a uh, hound, you have been given a ton of options. You have four options to pick from. You have your head is the best way I can describe it, even though it's called model. You have your model, you have your core, then you have your brackets, and then you have, sorry, your brackets, then you have your stabilizers. Each one of these does a variety of things. So for example, uh, if I was a bit more of an optimal uh, person, I would have gone to get um, repo audit. Sorry, my brain couldn't even remember the name. Repo audit before I had made my hound, but I forgot to. But you could go with the Lassertan, the Batotan, or the Akaten, each one doing their own thing with equal crit and status, but this one does slash and impact, this one does puncture and impact, and this one does slash and puncture, which I recommend picking this one and or this one. This one can break armor, and this one does slash and puncture. When it comes to your uh, core type, it dictates your health, shield, and base armor. Each one of these does a variety of things. If you're more of a shield person, you'll go with Adlet. If you're more of a armor person, you'll go with Garmer. And if you're more of a health person, you'll go with Raiju. Uh, when it comes to the um, bracket, this dictates the type of percentage you gain on your health shields or armor for your hound. If you go with Sela, you're going for more of a health shields build, but less armor. If you're going for Urga, you're going for more health and, uh, health and armor, but less shields. And if you go with Zub, you'll be going for more shields and armor as well the precept dictates uh what mods you can get initially on your uh hound the ones that i recommend are um depends you could go with Sela or urga i don't really like zub zub feels a little awkward to use and i think it really only works well in certain scenarios so go with either Sela or urga i went with urga and finally with the stabilizers you get frock hinta or wands each one of these applies a polarity initially into your hound and also gives you a mod. Focused uh, Prospectus, Synergized Prospectus, and Aerial Prospectus. For my playing uh, playtesting, I think Hinta is easily the best one out of all of them purely because of it having a bouncing spark that uh, applies well electricity to enemies that ricochets up seven times and will keep seeking out an enemy. The reason I recommend that one is because if we go to our uh, hound that we currently have equipped, that mod mixes in with Manifold Bond, which applies the uh, status effects you have on your uh, weapon that I had just listed to your uh, electricity bouncing ball. So that makes it where you can spread viral even easier, more radiation, more heat, or whatever element you need better than the Panzer Phyla does. But obviously, what are the benefits of using a panzer over using a hound so obviously like i said what are the benefits of using a panzer over a uh hound well the panzer uh vulpophila hands down is a lot easier to understand compared to well the hound the hound has so many intricacies as you saw in the previous clip where i showed off my uh, spreadsheet where there was just many and many and many a uh, different uh Parts, each one doing their own thing, each one adding something you may need, each one getting rid of something you may want, adding something you may want, etc. But each one, but, yeah, sorry, when compared to the Panzer, you basically just have to understand how to mod it. How do you mod the Panzer Volpophila? How do you mod this? How do you mod that? It's all that matters. The other advantage is, um, well, when it comes to the mutagen and antigen, antigen just changes like what type of uh, polarity you put on there, but each mutagen changes. So if you're using an Adra um, mutagen, 
you gain uh, proto shield resistance. If you use an Elsa, you gain alloy armor. If you gain, if you add a Zeraman, you get more uh, flesh, colon flesh, you get more health. And if you use a Vijar, you get robotic resistance. Each one of these doing obviously the same thing. Predacite has the same thing, except they just shorten it down to longer names compared to the other one. Actually, yeah, they increase the names. But obviously, the other advantage of using a Panzer Volpophila over a Hound is the fact that these can take advantage of Hunter Synergy. Hunter Synergy is what lets your well weapons deal more damage because you're using things like Tenacious Bond. Tenacious Bond gives you more crit damage multiplier onto your weapons. You can use Tech Enhance to make Viral Quills last longer and stuff like that. But obviously, these are more built for spreading purely viral and taking advantage of buffing your weapons while the hounds are made for status so i'll show off how i built my uh hound i'll show it how it affects enemies and then we'll take them into a uh, survival mission which is where they excel so how did i build my akaten well my akaten is built specifically for doing as much uh status as humanly possible it has lasting stings so the duration is longer it's got melee prowess for the status chance it's got virulent scourge vicious frost volcanic edge and focus right on fury and reach have not been confirmed to work but i put it on there just to see if it can help it a little bit more healing return is to help it in missions where i can't just keep it alive constantly but we have viral heat radiation we have toxic magnetic radiation and well there was something else here but do what that says please love you Mwah. but that alone is not enough you have to make sure you have the correct mods so make sure if you're going to use that same build make sure you have manifold bond on here Synergize Prospectus, and uh, you can run Vicious Bond, Momentous Bond, and Null Audit, or run whatever. You don't even technically need Primed Animal Instinct. But to show, well, my making in action, what happens whenever he shoots off the uh, little ball? Well, I mean, that's applying a ton of status. It bounces quite nicely, and it reaches quite far. Sadly, Prime Reach doesn't seem to affect him, but it did hit this one over here. And as you see, it does continue to bounce. It still applies and they last quite long. And that just lets you take advantage of things like conditional overload, stuff like that, where you need more statuses on the enemies to get full advantage. And well, as you see, it helps quite a lot. Even though I am not a big fan of primers in general, the Hound is less of a primer, in my opinion, and more of a crowd control support tool, purely because he applies more status than a Panzer Volpophila, helps me more than the Panzer Volpophila. And the only thing I got to worry about is if he falls down. And even if he does, he'll get back up. So I'm going to get my build set up. We'll go to Steel Path and I'll show you how he acts in a endless mission. So here we are in Steel Path. So what is the advantage of using the Hound? Well, obviously, as soon as the place starts, we'll start seeing him apply his uh, Synergized Prospectus across to any enemy that's near me. So sadly, there's not a ton near me because I just started the area. But when there is a ton, he applies it to everyone. On top of what I already do with Dagath, which is, well, viral. I'm still Meridian, doesn't seem to be a fan of me right now. That's lovely. But obviously, the advantage of using the Hound, other than just having a uh, viral and other, like, elements get spread, is the fact that if you run different audit mods, different, uh, basically any mod, you get different advantages of everything. So, for example, as you see, with me using the uh, mods I have, my hound's getting every Xmas unit's like buff I just killed. Applied to him and now he can apply it to enemies. So he gets the burn, the freeze, the uh, the shock, everything. But if you didn't use that one and said use the shockwave one, you could knock down enemies. If you went with the magnetic one, you could take away their guns, stuff like that. Each each build has its own way of being played. Each like mod has its own way of being used. Again, these are status based. If you still like your viral, uh, not viral. Panzer Volpophila, keep using it. It's obviously very strong, very powerful. Its whole point is to be a uh, gunslinger's best friend because it takes advantage of crit, crit mods. Things you can also use are MOAs. MOAs also do what Panzers can do with uh, weapon mods. So you can build them the same way. They're just a little bit and less useful, I'd say, because of their mods as well. But obviously, uh, does everything here apply to an Acolyte? As you can tell, I'm not having any issues killing anything currently. Everything gets applied, their status effects on top of what I'm doing. So I'll try to get an Acolyte to spawn and see if I can get the Hound to attack it. So I'll get back to y'all when you, the Acolyte obviously spawns. After waiting basically forever, the Acolyte is finally here. So 
Maybe we got malice. God damn. Well, let's hope the my pet can throw his attack out quicker than quicker than what I'm waiting for. Yep, there it is. There's the thing I hate about Malice. Malice can apply that, like, mag thing to you, so you can get... Sadly, you can get affected by a mag bubble, but I can see Radiation and Puncture being applied to Malice, and I don't have that on any of my builds, so I believe the answer is yes. It can be applied. But obviously, I'd rather not lose because of a mag bubble. I'm going to kill everything. But obviously, as you see, I don't run Radiation on any of my builds, but I saw Radiation get applied to... Uh, malice so that does confirm that you can obviously stack the buffs on top of them without it obviously fading away and stealing so i'll go ahead and head back to my orbiter and get my final thoughts on the hound so what are my final thoughts on the hound i think the hound is actually a very phenomenal option you can still use basically anything the hound is just very useful for being a spreader of status the panzer is good for basically viral and low-end missions the hound is good for radiation magnetic viral toxin whatever you need it can do it uh each each pet has its own oops each pet has its own thing like my smita my smita there is for farming my panzer until i got my hound was for spreading a viral but now i don't need that technically helios is for scanning my death cube is whenever i finally feel like building him would be there for like just energy i believe is what the uh joke build was uh, Dairiga is really good for spreading uh, status as well because he has the electricity arc coil. So if you don't have a good hound, you can obviously use Dairiga. But obviously it's all up to the person. And once again, this build is easily changeable. You don't even need to run Fury. You don't even need Healing Return. I only had that because it was fun testing with it. You run a whole build just purely to kill the Corpus. You can build one for Vile Heat and Radiation. You can even build it for Corrosive. It obviously won't do as good as it would on a uh, Warframe, but it still does its job. But... Other than that, I hope you guys get some good insight on how to use hounds, how they are useful, how strong they can be, and how to build them based off the chart I had given you. Or just be quiet. But I hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure if you want to see more like uh, more stuff like this, hit that like button and do subscribe and hit that bell for post notifications so you do get notified whenever another video goes live. Tell me what guns you want to see, uh, what abilities, not abilities, uh, Warframes, guns, Sentinels, etc. Just tell me what you want to see in the um, comments below. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.